Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tarek Time. We are on episode 12, I think. I hope. I really hope. Um, I, I got a little bit of catching up for you. So, a couple of things have happened. I, I took a couple of days off. I went on a camping trip. It was phenomenal. Thanks for asking. Um, and then I did take another two days to just kind of hang out and chill and just enjoy playing Minecraft again. So, um couple of things I do want to ask you. First of all, I've been thinking about ways how I can kind of incorporate you know, my audience, the viewers, you, perspectively. Thank you so very much for being here. Um, and I had this idea where, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but the game of stat poker in Minecraft, where y'all, you, you go into your stats and you have all these stats, and then you can basically pick them you know, distance walked. I've walked 393.21 kilometers. Not, not so shabby, I guess. But I'm thinking about basically making a system where, uh, like a little randomizer, where it'll spit out whether a stat needs to be high or low, and I'm going to pull a stat, and then if you guys beat me in a stat, whether yours is higher or lower than mine, respectively, I'll, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll burn a diamond. I'll, I'll burn a diamond if you beat me. How about that? So, if this is something y'all would be interested in me doing, please let me know in the comments down below, because I think it would be kind of a fun idea to do. Also, I, I did a thing. I decided, you know what, this world is very medieval, and I really should probably fit the part, don't you think? So, I, I played around, and I... I made myself a little, uh, little medieval skin here. You know, I got a little... little Little shawl thing going over my shoulders, little belt, a little you know, some new pants. Kind of redid my face a little bit to be a little bit, a little bit cleaner, maybe. Maybe I should have rubbed some dirt in there. I don't know, but let me know what you think of the skin. I, I really, really like how it turned out. I, I hope you do too. And I'm gonna go sleep real quick because this place is terrifying. Alrighty, now that we've all slept up, let me get uh, let me get you caught up on a few things I've been working on here. So, the the biggest thing is this new area right behind me here. So I have been busy. I decided that uh, I wanted to, you know, when I was just playing and not recording, I wanted to make myself a cow pasture. So let me just uh, let me just scooch my way in here with all the moo moos. So we've got ourselves a little a little barn here, a little, a little custom tree. Actually, that yeah, that tree's new too. That that tree's new to you too. I like it. It's a, it's a party tree. Um, but yeah, we've got a, a nice little place for all of our cows to hang out. So another little custom tree here, a little bit of a barn. So trying to you know still work with those those little minor details just to try and really make a build kind of pop and whatnot. So I really like how it turned out, you know, using the campfires as little roofs and lots of little lanterns and trap doors and composters and hay bales and just stuff. Lots and lots of stuff, but I really like how it turned out. I actually really like how these little archways kind of turned out. You know, they're kind of broken and jambly a little bit, but they're, they're kind of neat. And there's that one over there, too. So just really nice little little details kind of that I've been able to kind of work on uh, bettering my building uh, habits, I suppose you could say. So um, did a little bit of terraforming and tweaking and built this path kind of going over towards the honey farm. I have another creeper. I had to deal with him later because they keep blowing up because I get too close to them. Um, that tree's new. That tree's new. So as you can tell, I, I kind of got bit by the terraforming bug when I was just playing and I was really enjoying just, you know, watching YouTube, listening to music, um, listening to stories, and I was just playing and having a grand old time. So that was that was great. But you know what? It's back to business. So I got a build, or actually I got two little builds that I kind of want to work on today. So let's uh, let's head back to the starter house over there and see what we can do today. Okay, so this is the area in question that I would like to work on in this episode. This fine and dandy episode that y'all should like and maybe comment. That'd be cool. But anyway, um, we have the little villager collection, the house where we can kind of put in their their professions and whatnot there. Um, we've got the entrance to the zombie spawner down there, and then the portal, and then this this little 
disgusting hole in the wall that goes down to my mines. So I want to do two things. One, telephone. Um, I want to build kind of like a little central tower in this area here that can kind of, you know, bring all these little kind of points together as a central focal point, but kind of build it eh, probably a, a little bit off that road so I can still do something along here. Not sure what yet, no idea, but I want the option. So, oh, and then I want to, I want to make this prettier. Like, you know, stone, cliffs, dirt, vines, bushes, stuff. So all of these trees are probably going to go and become custom trees or little builds or something of that nature. And then this is going to become a fancy pants little cliff, which I will uh, do my best to bring you along for so you can kind of see how, how I do things is odd and not proper as probably most people would say. But hey, it's me and my world, so na 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 Okay, so... In this chest, I have everything I need. Except I need to put my stuff back on or I won't have room. Blah. Okay. So, this this is a little build I, I came up with in a test world. So, I am going to be trying and actually using Lightmatica. I've never used Lightmatica before. This is a total learning experience. I'll try and kind of maybe bring you in for little snippets of the build as I go along. No guarantees. I still don't have replay mod or anything like that, so you're just gonna have to settle as much as I do with no replay mod, sadly. So let's uh, let's give this a whirl. Um, if I remember correctly, ha! There, there, there is the first layer. So I am. I need a stick. I don't ask me why, but a stick is the all-powerful. The, oh, I did it. I don't, don't do that. Place. Um. Mm hmm Hang on, I broke it. Let me fix. Okay, I think I fixed it. So now I should be able to... Yeah, this... I, I don't know. So Some people might call this a little cheaty-cheaty, because it... This makes it really easy to... Like, I, I had... No idea, and I totally thought that was a block, but it's not. That's going to be entertaining. I'm probably going to fall and hurt myself, but what's uh, the, what's your what's your kind of opinions on a program like this, like Lightmatica, that, you know, this is this is a build that I, I created in my own test world. Um, I know you can kind of go out there and get schematics for big builds that other people have done, and, you know, if you were going to make contact with them, or content with them, just, you know, credit credit where credit is due. Um, but what's your... What's everybody's kind of opinions on a program like this? Is it is it cheaty-cheaty? Is it taking the fun out of the game? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna plot along a little bit here, and kind of see what I can come up with. Well, I know what I'm going to come up with, you don't. But let's, uh, I'm just going to get building a little bit, and then um, I'll bring it back in. So, this is the first couple of layers. Now, granted, I could do this off of screenshots. It would... Well, actually, I don't know if it would be more time-consuming or not to do it off screenshots, but this, it... It is a little bit easier to build, I, I will grant you that, and if you were doing like a big skyscraper, uh, I, I would totally see this being 100% worthwhile. Maybe not 100% worthwhile on smaller builds, but I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna keep going, I, I'm gonna give, give it a fair chance to impress me, show, shall we say. So, I'm gonna keep going, let's uh, just kinda... Keep moving along and see what we can come up with here and see if see if it's actually kind of you know, worth uh, staying invested in, shall we say. So I'm going to keep uh, placing blocks and keep doing that because that's really annoying. There we go. Um, there. Okay. It does make it a little bit tricky to sometimes place the blocks because, well, you're like basically placing phantoms, and those are bats that made it into the plan, and it's weird and creepy, and I don't like it, and I don't know why, I don't know why, but okay, here we go. 
actually, why don't I just, like, place blocks and you guys can listen to some tunes and maybe get an idea on how Lightmatica works. Maybe, maybe you guys, maybe you folks don't really have a lot of experience with Lightmatica either, and maybe this would be good for, good for all of us, shall we say. So, yeah, let's, uh, I'm just gonna zip this along and you can listen to some tunes. It's a little, little different, little in line. Like I've got the white and the orange kind of in other places as well. Um, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the top there. It, it, it's a little, it, it, it's a little heavy. I might have to try and come up with something else. But right now, that's the best I got. I'm sorry, it just is. But you know, overall, I'm. I'm really happy with it, to be honest with you. Um, yep. Yeah. It's hard, I don't know. It, describing this is difficult for me right now, but it's kind of, it's there and it's pretty and it kind of catches your eye, but it's not so much that it's the only thing you focus on. Does that make sense? I don't know. Hopefully it does, but it definitely needs a little bit of landscaping in here to be able to kind of bring this home. But first things first, I want to do is get some materials and make a little bit of a kind of mine entrance over there just to kind of signify that there, there there is something worth going over there for okay me and some blocks and my new skin are over here now so um i've never built anything on diagonal i would just like to pre preface pre preface I, I don't remember um anyway i've never built anything on a diagonal but i figured you know what that was as good as time as I need to try starting, because I got this little weird corner that I want to put something in. And I do want it to kind of match the color palette of the portal, but be different because it's the mine. So, here goes nothing. Um, our general in, in, in line is going to be here. So, I'm just going to quickly... Metal. So, um, this can be ugly. I feel like that's really loud. I'm so very sorry. Blocks are kind of loud. Yeah. Okay. That's better. Okay. So, this, 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 
this can be ugly. We will fix this later. Um, what I want to do, just, um, you know, take some stuff out. Um, it's five wide, but I could, can I bring it like, can I bring it? No, no, no. Okay, no, okay. Um, Ew. Although, one second. Um, I do want to. I want to. Um, bada 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 bum 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 bum. Come hither, blocks. I want to actually build this up a little bit. So taking all of that dirt out was well okay because I needed to build this up. Okay, so. This is just off to a terrible start, but there, we now have a start. So, um, something like this, um, this is the general plan. I went too tall. Whoopsies. Um, but I doink, 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 doink. Um, just bear with me. I, I'm severely guessing what I'm doing right now, and it's diagonal, and I'm questioning my abilities to be able to pull this off. So this is going to be the general entrance to the thing, the cave, the, the, not the cave, the, the mine. I, I'm going to, we'll figure the inside out later. Right now, it's all about making the outside pretty. So... Um, the general idea is this needs to kind of be stepped up in a fashion that steps up one by one until it meets the, the mountainside, which is officially here. So I'm just going to quickly duplicate that on the other side. So, I just realized I wasn't recording again. Whoops, a geese. Um, so, I've got some sides built up, and I am just kind of slapping down a little dark, dark, dark oak roof here that I am now unable to place correctly because, well, I'm recording, and that's just what happens. It's also becoming night, which is, you know, the night is full of terrors and stuff. So, bedtime. Okay, that was eventful. You know, went, slept, had a creeper blow up in my face because it was right outside my door. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the wee little diagonal roof, I, I, I think this is going to be okay, but I am a wee bit concerned about stuff spawning on top of my head, so I'm just going to do this. Th this is subject to change and tweaking and everything else like every other one of my builds it's it might just completely be changed out by next episode we just don't know we just don't know but um how's that oh that is so dark in there oh, okay um i got to do something with the ground but where to there you are if i just i'm going to do one of these so this this is going to become um, stone and stuff. And then I figure I, I'm going to do the cliff side kind of first. And then I might put a little, like a little wooden lean to almost on this side here. And then I can do some decorations under it, you know, like rock that has been pulled up out of the quarry and stuff, you know, prettiness or something like that. But if we just throw a couple of these guys in here, hopefully that will uh, prevent some stuff from spawning. But uh, I think that looks okay. And it's, I think I've got enough room in here to be able to kind of carve back a little bit of this dirt and kind of make this a little bit more of a stone cliff instead of a, a smooshy Minecraft mountain. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll play. 
full play. Probably not on camera, because no reply mod, still sad panda. But what I can do is I'm going to go grab some stuff and kind of work on getting just a little bit of more like a stone area around the tower, kind of similar to the floor we did in the market trading hall, and then have that leading over to the mine. So, yeah. One second. Alrighty, so got my area all dug out. Now I've got um, gravel, andesite, cobble, stone, and tuff. So tuff, I definitely don't want a lot of it in here, just a little bit. So very kind of sporadically placed. The primary block I want to have in here is actually going to be the gravel, the andesite, and the stone, kind of those lighter grays, but they're kind of going to blend together a little bit. And then you have little pockets of cobble kind of every once in a while. So what I'm going to do is just kind of do my little, my little chunks of cobble just kind of kicking around. And then I can always come back in, tweak, change. Alrighty, so we have progress. We now have the full kind of wall going on here so now what i kind of need to start incorporating is uh you know a couple of little paths going this way um just kind of you know working things in here that was that was too much um and then we can you know we can drop a little bit of this in just to kind of make it kind of feel all you know all connected and whatnot and then I'm also going to go grab myself a whole bunch of slabs so I can, um, well, run up this without having to jump. So now we are just into the slightly monotonous task of just, um, you know, going around and doing some slabs and making it try and look decent. Although when it's all random and stuff, it's, it's not so shabby. Now, I, oh, that's actually, oh, I dislike it when you do this. Okay, um, a little bit like that, maybe one there, maybe one there, yeah, yeah, that's right, that looks adequate. It looks adequate, I think, I don't know, as long as we can get out of here with it being, uh, easy peasy, I'm okay. Okay, that works, and I liked having just a little bit of a, same as this here, you know, just that little bit of character with the step up. It just, it just helps instead of it just being smooth and flat. Every time you can have some little elevation changes, it just seems to make things look better. But that, uh, I think that's going to have to wrap up this episode here, folks. Uh, we've got a pretty decent little chunk of progress being done here, so... Something we can definitely continue to build off of. I, I kind of wanted to get working on that cliff, but I just I just don't have time in this episode, unfortunately. So thank you, everybody, for coming out and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you sharing your day. Definitely uh, hit that like button, hit that sub button if you want to come back and see uh, see what I continue to do with this area. Um, not sure. I'm pretty sure we'll be here in the next episode. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm working on some ideas for the market, but I'm not quite ready there. So. I think we're going to work on getting this kind of cliff area terraformed up and made pretty. And then, uh, yeah, so definitely uh, show me a little bit of love there, folks. A like, a comment, a sub, whatever you feel like doing. Greatly appreciated any and all of the above. And until next time, folks, thank you so very much for sharing your day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.